Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back. Well, I've been a coffee drinker for a lot of years, and I would say for the last over 30 years, I've been drinking espresso. And for the last 20 to 25 years, we have a consumer-grade espresso machine in our kitchen, and we've enjoyed using it. And it uses one of these porta filters that you put the grounds in. Of course, getting the grounds from the, the hopper of the coffee grinder into the porta filter can always be a little challenging, especially if you're like me and you're using a gram scale to weigh your beans so you have a consistent formula, consistent mixture and all that. Yeah, it gets a little messy. So one of the things I've been doing is one of the other coffee brewing methods I use is an AeroPress, and I often switch between the AeroPress and the espresso machine. I'll do one for a while, and then I'll switch to the other. The AeroPress has, in its kit, it has this hexagonal-shaped cone, and the cone is just there for you to put on top of the AeroPress and use it to get your grounds from the hopper of your grinder into the AeroPress. It's kind of a handy little thing. Well, I've been using the AeroPress cone on top of my espresso machine portafilter as a way to get the grounds from my grinder into the portafilter. And that's worked pretty good except that the opening in the AeroPress cone is quite a bit smaller than the portafilter itself and so when I do put the grounds into here and I lift the cone off, what happens is the grounds kind of overflow or they're in the middle and they kind of fall over in the edge and get all over the countertop of the kitchen. So I've had to employ various tactics like kind of tap the cone with my tamper and, and then very carefully lift the cone off and you have this little mound of grounds and you then you want to try to tamp it down and all of a sudden it collapses over to the side and gets all over the countertop. It's a little messy, right? And also, this is like first world problems, okay? So, because I recently was given the gift of an Ender 3 Pro 3D printer, just the other day, I was drawing in my sketch journal an idea for Maybe I can make an adapter piece that fits on top of the portafilter and helps me get the grounds in the portafilter without making a huge mess. And that's what I did. Well, this is my problem statement. First world problem, of course, is the AeroPress cone on top of the portafilter. You lift the portafilter off and you get grounds all over the kitchen counter. There's always a little bit of spillage, right? My solution was to make an adapter piece. And so I have this sketch of the portafilter, the side view, and I'm envisioning a piece that adapts to the portafilter that you can then put the AeroPress cone into. And so I took a pair of calipers and I started measuring the outside diameter of the portafilter, the inside diameter, the height that the cone sits into, the height of the portafilter, etc., etc. And I come up with these dimensions, um, basically 3D printing a cylinder. And it has 54 millimeter inside diameter, a 65 mil outside diameter, and then about uh, almost halfway up the wall thickness thins out and it has a 60.5 millimeter inside diameter and then a little bit of more complexity to this whole design is that the portafilter has these two little extension wings that's the flange for mounting it to the inside of the espresso machine and so you have to have these cutouts here as I've shown here, 27 millimeter wide cutouts on the thin section, the thin wall section, to enable it to slip over these two wings like that. So I went into Onshape, and, uh, which is an online uh, CAD program. So this is the part that I designed in Onshape. So it has the wide end here, which uh, is really the top of the adapter. And then that adapts down to a thinner walled section with a larger diameter. And in on shape, I then created a rectangular solid of the right width, and I did a subtractive extrusion to make these two slots here. The inside diameter of the adapter now is flush with the inside diameter of the portafilter basket. And that means that my tamper 
Yes, look how snugly that fits in there. My tamper fits through there as well. And that's really what I wanted to see. It's just a beautiful fit there. So yeah, I've made a 3D printed piece that is going to actually make my daily coffee making ritual a little bit less messy. And that's exciting. I'll leave a link down below in the description for the files for this little part and you get to 3D print it in whatever color or plastic you like. So there you go, another little project with the 3D printer and it's fun having that. You know, the biggest challenge for me though is the fact that um, I'm a novice at Onshape, the CAD software, and so it took me a while to actually remember some of the lessons that my friend Ethan Moses taught me and to go in and use the software appropriately. But yeah, I did it and I'm kind of proud of myself and it was kind of a fun little project. So if you guys are coffee drinkers and you have a espresso machine with the right size portafilter basket, you might want to print one of these for yourselves. In any event, I wish you the very best. Always stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.